Hi, uh, in this tutorial, I will continue with uh, my operating point analysis tutorial uh, that we did the last term. And uh, let me open this LTS Spice software from here. In LTS Spice, you don't have any text editor, but it does have the schematic editor, so you can see where is the schematic editor. But I'm not doing the schematic at this moment, so I won't uh, use it. And so let me open the file that I created uh, in the last tutorial. So I will go to file, open, and uh, I am here in LTS Spice Summer. And my file type was .sp. So let me change this to .sp. You can see it here. These all three are uh, .cir, .net, and .sp. All these three are recognized by LTS Spice. And then here we have this voltage divider, the file that I saved in, last, in the last tutorial. And you open it from here. So although it doesn't have, LTS Spice doesn't have a text editor, but once you have edited something in, in Notepad or any other text editor, you can open it in LTS Spice and from here you can edit it. So uh, I will, so this is, this is just a circuit description. And now I have to do the operating point analysis. Why I'm doing operating point analysis? Basically, this circuit contains only DC source. So whenever you have DC only DC source, you should perform dot OP analysis. We can also perform dot run. We are coming to dot run later. But you should you will perform dot OP analysis in order to know nodes voltage. I mean what is voltage for example at this node and what are currents flowing into various elements. So whenever, to summarize, whenever you have circuit containing only DC sources, so you have to perform dot OP analysis in order to know the various node voltage and branch currents. Okay. So you have to just type here dot OP and enter, and the last line in the spice is always dot N. So first line is always, you see, always a comment. So it starts with a star. Even if you don't start with the first line with a star, it will be treated as uh, as a comment. Okay. And if you have to make subsequent comments, you can write, you can, you always have to start with this star. And I can write a okay, description, description of resistors okay, so whatever comment you want to have you can always have this comments okay now save it so you have entered your the circuit description and you have typed in the type of analysis you want to perform and uh, that is it so if you want to run the simulation you want to know the voltage so and currents of various branch and nodes you can go here simulate for them and hit this running man or you can press control how to run the simulation or you can do it directly from here left click when i say click this means left click okay and one more thing i have not talked about is you know lts spice is uh case insensitive meaning whether you write uh, a small r1 or capital r and both of them are same and node names they they are not necessarily uh I mean numerical, uh, they, they can be A, B, or C, or whatever you wish. Okay, so let me run the simulation. I left click it. So you see that I have this voltage at node 1. Remember, I call this node as node 1 and this node as node 2. So voltage at node 1 is 10 and voltage at node 2 is 2.5. That you can verify using the voltage divider 1 over 3 plus 1, that is 1 by 4 of 10. This is 2.5. So you see this is 2.5 by default all these things are in their standard size units so voltage is in, in terms of volts and currents in terms of ampere so the current flowing through the resistor r2 is 0.0025 or say 2.5 milliampere similarly for r1 it is uh, 0. Uh, sorry 2.5 milliampere and similarly for r2 Okay, so this is how you can run operating point analysis on any circuit.